Today we're going to talk about the phase group. It's a strange button, a strange little icon that's implemented with one to eight groups, as you can see. It allows us to assign a group to a collection of tracks on which the Evo channel is enabled for the purpose of making immediate comparisons between with or without the Evo, to know, for example, if we're heading in the right direction with regards to the phase, if we're better or worse off with the Evo. You'll see, believe me, you'll often be better off with it enabled. So I'm going to show you how to use it. There's nothing simpler. Here I have assigned eight drum tracks, then I'm going to solo straight away. So if I solo the kit, there, you can hear a sound, and you can notice that for the moment, if I scan my evos, none are assigned to a phase group yet. I'm now going to show you how to do that. I'm going to open a window where I have the three evos, one on the kick out, one on the kick in, and one on the snare. You see that if I assign the group one to all the evos, there, they're all on the group one. I'd already made a group in Pro Tools to be able to consolidate the control of the group I'm making. So, there, all the evos for the drums are on group one, and therefore, when I click phase on or phase off, you see that it changes on all three. And so, the change of the settings when we listen to the drums all together is of course a benefit that is felt all round. With, without, with, without. You can hear that the difference is really huge. So obviously, I'd optimized the phase beforehand. It's easier to obtain this result once that's done. As you can see, it doesn't take that long. I'm going to give you another nice tip. For that, let's take another window where I have my two kick mics together. So, still the same story. I've enabled the same group for each, so when I click on the phase for one, it switches it on and off on both. I'm going to solo the two kick mics, kick in and kick out. I'm going to give you a little tip for the slider, so it can be done quickly. When looking for the phase point between two mics, for this example, two kick mics, hold control while moving the slider in order to make a 45 degree movement each time. So why is this good? Because it allows you to hear quickly the change in the phase interaction. For example, I'll make a loop of one of the kicks. I'll bring back the window. And look, what I do is change it on every beat. we realize just how radical the change is in the behavior of the phase relationship and thus the sound. And so we adjust it to where it sounds good to our ears. Of course, it's subjective within these bands. But you'll see, by the end of the process, you won't see it as subjective at all. So, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for listening.